Hey guys, Jerk Doors here. Tim back, and it is finally the time of season where I can bring my fly rod out, come out, fish for salmon, trout, whatever bites. So uh, that's what we're doing today. We've got the fly rod here, the Remington Crosswater 9 foot 8 weight line. And uh, what I'm using, if you guys have seen last year's video, I've got a Carter bug on there with blue in the middle. So that's what I caught one of my salmon on last year, and that's what I'm starting this year off. And that's probably going to be my fly of the year. I'll have to see how the, fly, the fishing goes, but uh, so far, I'm starting the year off saying that's my favorite fly. So we'll see what happens this year. Go comment down below what do you guys think will happen this year, how many salmon we'll catch, if we will catch any salmon, and uh, just throw a number how many trout we'll catch. So, with this season, I finally get it to bring out my, uh, my uh, fly fishing perfume there. So, since we're fly fishing, might as well put on my fly fishing perfume or clone or whatever it is but just smell that that smells like fly fishing right there I miss that smell but I don't miss what comes with the, f the fly fishing which is the flies I've been bothered by them walking all the way here through the woods and stuff but we're gonna pull through try to get some here today hopefully hooking up with the salmon we stopped at a few places on the way and did see some salmon so they are in the rivers and I've heard that people are catching them I haven't talked to anybody personally that said they've already caught one but uh, let's make it happen today and let's hook up guys so I just hooked up with the first fish of the day nothing real big I'm gonna guess it's a trout but trout or fall fish for sure okay there we are, first fish of the day. A little fall fish right there on uh, that fly that I was telling you guys about. But uh, let's hope he's not the first, last fish of the day. But there, I just released him. Good release, let's hope he's not the last one of the day. I'm pretty sure I could hook into some trout. I'm just trying here first. I've already hooked into one, but lost it. And uh, I didn't catch that hook set on video because the camera shut off 
but it is what it is. It wasn't a real good hook set. And yeah, so I'm just gonna keep working my way up the pool here. And if I don't catch any more stuff, I'm gonna go and hook a trout for you guys, a few of them. And we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can get some big ones. If you guys don't already recognize the place I'm at, it's where I filmed the Skittles video. That's probably the most popular video I've filmed here. But yeah, we're just gonna keep fishing it. Still got this is like a really good part of the pool. It's really deep and I've snorkeled here and that's where the salmon are on the low waters. And right now the waters are very low. All the cold water pools, they're all closed. So that narrows our fishing spots down a lot. So let's keep fishing, see what we can do. Okay, so I just finished the top section of the pool, and uh, game plan, try something else, a uh, different spot maybe, and we'll see if we can catch some somewhere else, so I'm going to move to the next spot, see if we can get some there. Okay, so I just made it across the river now, and I'd like to try it here a little bit, see if there's any trout. I did see two salmon jump right up there when I was fishing down there. so. I'm not sure if they're going to bite because that's where they hang out when in, the water's too hot because it's up there, it's cold. So I'm not real sure that they will bite, but maybe you'll be able to catch a trout here. We're going to try anyways and uh, see what we can get. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking this time putting the rod down. I kind of seen some a little bit strange, but it's actually really cool to see because I uh, don't normally see these things. And what it is is a really, really old salmon. He must have just come up. He's very tired. I walked around him, put my GoPro down. I hope I got some good footage. But there is a lot of salmon up this brook. And as you guys can see, that's a monster fish right there. And he does not care that we're here at all. He's pretty old. He's a bit rough. His tail. He's got chunks missing. And gouge on his head. And that, that eye it looks kind of blind. He just looks rough. I know some of you guys might say he's dead. But he's not because he swam from right there to here. Here he goes again. Swimming a little bit at a time. And see his mouth moving. Yeah, there's his mouth moving. And there is actually a whole bunch of salmon up there, too. I got some footage on my phone. But if you guys want to see the grilts up there, go to my Instagram and uh, check it out there.
Okay, so that's really cool to see. I took as much underwater footage as I can with my GoPro, and uh, I really hope it turned out very good because you don't come across that very much. Like, that's the first time I ever came across something like that. Usually you see them dead sometimes like that, but uh, that one is alive. He's actually made his way from up there farther to down right there now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep fishing and uh, we'll see what we can get. Okay, so we just got the measuring tape out. I uh, sort of put my rod down at the bottom and then looked where, put it at the end of the nose and then seen where it ended. So I measured it out. That measured four feet, which is equal to 48 inches. So if you guys take your measuring tape out right now, if you have one, I'll let you go do that. Okay, so if you got it, take it out, bring it to 48 inches or four feet, and see how long that salmon is in person. It's a very big fish. That thing is very old. You can tell by just looking at it. He's uh, made his way up here. Probably he's gonna have his babies and then die. That's my guess because he wasn't doing very good. I'm not sure if he'll make it for the summer, but right now he's resting. I'm gonna let him rest and hopefully he can just get enough energy. Maybe he'll go upstream more. Maybe he'll stay the summer here. Thanks for watching today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the little trout clips from dad there, he was catching a whole bunch of them and uh, making them roll at the flies at least. But we're leaving here now, there is definitely salmon here, I've seen them jump in there about uh, 30 seconds ago, running up and down here, that big one laying there, that's pretty cool to see and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, press that like button. Go subscribe right here, watch this video because it's suggested to you guys by YouTube and I will see you guys in the next video.